Can you believe it's only a few months until we graduate? Yeah, I guess. Come on, Lydia. Avoid your future wrinkles. You're probably gonna get in. It's going to be impossible for me to get in now. I might as well have been denied. But you weren't. You were just deferred. Think about all the idiots that did get in. <laughs> yeah, you got in. Not that you're an idiot. I'm the idiot. Really. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of your pity party. It's just that- We need to do something fun this weekend before the storm hits. I guess I'm free now. Rude. You have to go home and wait for the stupid pool guy. Ooh, the pool guy. Oh, please, never in my life. You know how my dad is. He doesn't like the house being empty when workers are there. You know, thieves. Lax, Lydia, I was just kidding. We're going hiking at the lake at four. Sounds good to me. Um, I can't. I have a swimming thing at five. Can we try tomorrow? It's supposed to pour all weekend. Okay, well, I guess I have to tell my dad that I didn't get accepted. He's gonna be so disappointed. Hey, relax, it's going to be okay. Deferred is not denied. Easy for you to say you actually got in. Okay, well, me and Lydia made plans, so Brooke, are you in? Yeah, I think that should be okay. I'll have to call my mom and see. If I can't go, are you still free to take me home? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, I gotta get home. Gotta get there before the pool guy gets there. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I'll be at your house at 3.30. Be ready. Sounds good. Oh, I guess I should go too. Good luck with your dinner thing. She doesn't need any luck. She's got this. Let's see if she picks up. Got an open house. It's about to be over by now. Hey, Mom. That's great. Yeah, he did. But we can only change our numbers so many times. Anyways, I was wondering if I could go hiking with Carrie and Lydia and then spend the night at Carrie's afterwards. What? That's okay. I only have four months left until we graduate. I just want to enjoy the time that I have left. Bye, Mom. Looks like I can go. Great. I think the fresh air will do us all some good. Me too. It's already getting late. Imagine if you both have been ready when I got there. I can't wait until next year when I finally don't have to ask for permission to do anything. I'm so happy that both of you going to our dream school. Sorry. Let's not talk about college. Let's talk about senior skip days. Did you guys hear about Megan? Megan? Megan Johnson, who else? Did her and Jake break up again? Yeah, she broke up with him this time. Usually he breaks up with her, then she pulls the desperate card. He was her first and she won't be able to do any better. Carrie, that's awful. Okay, sometimes the truth is awful. It doesn't change that it's the truth. I agree, sometimes the truth can be hurtful. So what do you want to do, bro? Go through life and never share my opinion because it's too brutal? What do you think, Lydia? Am I too honest? Is there even such a thing? Sometimes I think you say things that are honest, but they're also mean. <laughs> is that so? It's not that big of a deal, Carrie. It's not like you say those honest things to people's faces. You're really nice to them in person. We know you're just venting to us as your friends. Are you serious, Lydia? You're actually okay with her being fake all of the time? <laughs> fake? Yeah, that's basically what Lydia just described. Nice to people's faces and nasty behind their backs. Are you really getting mad at me over Megan? It's not just Megan. It's the fact that the people that we call friends you constantly put down just so you can feel better about yourself. What are you talking about? It's because you have money and you think you have this higher than thou attitude. I do not. Maybe it's not your fault. Maybe it's because of the territory. I wouldn't know. You're right. You wouldn't. So why don't you keep your mouth shut and admire the view? No, I've had enough. Guys, just stop. Oh, come on, Lydia. Stop acting like you care about the both of our feelings when in reality, you just care about Carrie's opinion. That's not true. Oh, come on, Lydia. You walk around like a lost puppy and as soon as she leaves, you come and cry to either Ava or I. <laughs> stop it, Brooke. I've never made Lydia cry, right? No. Oh, please. I've been with Lydia countless amounts of time crying because of something you said. Is that true, Lydia? No. What? Oh, wow. Me and am I? Get you off of me! You don't deserve this anymore. Ow! Find your only home breath. Let's go. 
go with her. You can't just leave me here. Watch me. Are we really just leaving her there? Feel free to stay if you'd like. I can't believe she said all that stuff. So, um, my dinner thing actually got canceled, so I was just wondering if I should come see you guys. Don't even bother. It's just me up here. I'm sure you'll hear about it soon enough. Hear about what soon? Carrie and Lydia aren't with you? They left me. Okay, just slow down. Tell me what happened. Ethan. Here. Sean. Here. Kathleen. Here. Um, Alexis. Here. Tasha. Here. Brooke. Has anyone seen Brooke? 